I'm Brenda Kuhneman, and thank you for joining me on another Daily Decree Live. This is your online prophetic devotional. And why do we call it a prophetic devotional? Because we prophesy, we declare things, we speak things into the atmosphere. And I believe that whenever we make these declarations, you receive a prophetic breakthrough in your life. Well, you certainly came to the right place today because I believe God has a word for you. God has something that he wants to implant in your spirit spirit that is straight from the throne of heaven. And so don't miss a moment of this. And by the way, share and let somebody know. Brenda Kuhneman is here every Monday through Friday, every weekday, right here at seven o'clock central time, speaking these declarations over you. And then let them know, secondly, all of these declarations are from my Daily Decree book series. You can get those online at hankandbrenda.org. So let's get right into it today. Let's not waste a moment because I'm gonna talk about something that all of us, man, this can be a subject that we have to embrace from heaven, but it can be a challenging subject, but also one of the most freeing things you can do as a believer. And we're going to talk about the strength and the power to forgive other people. Now, this is so necessary and so important. So if you're following along, this is on page 101 from my first book, The Daily Decree, and I want to get right into this today because Jesus talked a lot about the importance and the power of forgiveness. And he um, explained the fact that if we can't learn how to forgive other people, then we can't expect to be forgiven by God. Now, before we go too much farther on that, I'm going to just come on, read this straight from the scripture that's in the book and um, get this down in your heart. This is what Jesus taught about forgiveness. Now, here it is, Mark 11, 25. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to that. Um, I'm reading it from there, but I'm going to go back in my actual Bible because I have some notes in here and a few things that I want to just say along these lines of forgiveness that are so important because it really is it really does, it is what or it is how we get our prayers answered, whether we choose to forgive or don't forgive. So Mark 11, let's go back to that familiar passage of scripture and let's just read it kind of from the top. And this is verse 22, Mark 11, 22, have faith in God. This is Jesus talking. He said, for verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say to this mountain, be thou removed and be cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he says. Now, right there, Jesus is teaching that when we pray and declare, we should expect to receive what we speak, that God is there he is causing our prayers to be answered. And as we declare them, we should expect to get results from the Lord, right? So verse 24 says, therefore, I say unto you, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. And then he goes on, and this is our verse that's in the book. And when you stand praying or during prayer, forgive if you have aught against any that your father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. But... Watch this, but if you do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. You know, sometimes we just skip over that and think that we can, you know, hold offenses in our heart. And, you know, we're living in a day of so much offense, so much division, so much strife. I mean, it's just all over the culture. And we're fooling ourselves to think that that wouldn't try to creep into the church or even into our own our own families and our own lives. And we have to be so careful to guard against the power or the evil spirit of unforgiveness. Because it could, listen, it can hit anybody. The devil wants you to rehearse continually what somebody did to you, what they said, how they said it, when they said it, how much it just caused so much havoc in your life. And the devil will bring those memories up again and again and again, right? So that you'll keep talking about it and then you'll tell two more people and then you'll continue to let that thing fester until it just really becomes an infection inside your soul. And we have to guard against that every single day of our life. But here is the most sobering part of all this. Jesus was very clear. He said, if we don't forgive, if we can't release that offense out of our own soul that's against another person or brother or sister in Christ, if we can't release it, then we can't expect to be forgiven by God of the very 
things that we need him to forgive us of. So if we're saying, Lord, forgive me of my sins, then we cannot be holding sin over the head of somebody else. We have to forgive them. And that doesn't mean they always want care if we do. What matters is that we do it before the Lord. And sure, the enemy is going to try to make you think, oh man, just remember when they said that or did that or that happened. And that's when you're going to have to ask God for strength. And you say, no, I forgive them. I'm not going to let my mind dwell on what happened. I'm not going to continue to go there. But the most important thing, and the reason I want to make this declaration over you about forgiveness today is because it is a key, a key to receiving answered prayer. And if there is anything we all need right now in our lives, come on, in our families, in our, just in our nation, we need the spirit of forgiveness, but we need answered prayer. We need our prayers not being hindered because we have strife and offenses and you know, attitudes toward each other and, you know, we're gossiping and all of these things, talking about people behind their back and just all of the things that comes with the spirit of unforgiveness. And I really believe that this is something the body of Christ must practice in a whole new and fresh way. And um, because let's face it, Let's be honest, the world's not going to do that. The world is going to go the opposite way. You know, Jesus said he know he, he said the way that the world would know that we're saved is the way we love each other and that way we forgive each other. And the world's not going to do that. They're going to go with resentment and backbiting and revenge and how they can get back at somebody for something that they did or said or or whatever. There there's that's the way the world thinks. But Jesus is telling us to function a different way. He's saying Forgive your brother. Forgive that person that hurt you and said and did. Say, well, Pastor Brenda, but, you know, there are some pretty atrocious things that people do. Are we supposed to forgive that? Well, I know forgiveness. I never said forgiveness is easy, and Jesus didn't even say it was an easy thing to do. There's not any scripture in the Bible that it's easy to forgive, but we're commanded of God to do it. We're commanded to say, well, how do you do that when there's that much hurt that has been inflicted and that much pain that maybe that person caused? or that situation that they uh, cause. I, how, how do you get past that, Pastor Brenda? Well, that's where we ask for God's strength. You know, he helps us do what we can't do in our own power, in our own emotions. It's not just an emotional feeling. You know, listen, think for a moment. How do we receive from God? Well, it's one of the very premises is for the whole this whole program is we declare things, we decree things, we speak things. One of the ways you cause forgiveness to flood your mind and your emotions is to declare it. That's why we're going to declare this today, that you are able and you have the strength from God to forgive that person. And listen, I believe God is so supernatural. God is so powerful that when we put to practice forgiving other people through what we say. You know, that's why Jesus had to say it on the cross. Father, forgive them. That's how you do it. You have to verbalize it. You have to say it. You have to declare it. And um, I've heard it taught before, and I believe this is really true, that Jesus just didn't get up on the cross one time and say, Father, forgive them, forgive them, for they know not what they do. He had to keep repeating it. Sometimes we have to just repeat that when we see, you know, here's Jesus dying up there, and he sees the hateful faces, and, you know, as they beat him and flogged him and, and just publicly shamed him. He had to look at their faces as he was saying, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And if Jesus could do that after all that was done to him, I know through the power of the Holy Spirit, each of us has that ability. And I believe our salvation is contingent upon it because, you know, we know that the Bible teaches that if we can't forgive the way God's forgiven us, we're turned over to the tormentors. Well, we don't want that. Nobody wants to be turned over to the tormenting power of the devil. Or maybe that if scripture points to the fact that it points to the fact that you could end up in hell over unforgiveness. That's a terrible thing. Even though you love God and prophesy and all of those things. No, we don't want to have unforgiveness in our heart. And so this is why Jesus said, if you want to be forgiven by God, we have to forgive other people. And that comes with that active declaration. And listen, what I started to say a moment ago is God, I believe, is so supernatural. He's so powerful that he himself 
can cause that situation from that person that hurt you to be as if it didn't even happen to you. He takes the sting of it away. He takes the pain of it out of your heart so that now you remember it, but it's almost like, wow, that doesn't hurt like it used to. I'm free from that. That's called the power of God. And when we choose to forgive people, that's exactly what can happen. And that's what will happen because God comes on the scene when we forgive and he brings his supernatural power to the situation. So I wanna declare this over you today. I want you to receive it. And maybe for a moment, if there's somebody that you just need to release them out of your heart, listen, we don't want our salvation being messed with our health or anything else. We don't wanna give the devil any access. If you think of anybody that you have some ought with, some unforgiveness, maybe you got two or three people, um, I want you to think of their name for a moment just in your heart. And then when I speak this, you just declare from your mouth that you forgive that person. You might just have to say their name out loud. Just forgive them. And I believe the power of God is going to touch you right where you're sitting right now. So right now, today, we declare that you receive the strength and ability to forgive every person. Come on, every person who has hurt you, betrayed you, mistreated you, and wronged you in any way. May the overwhelming power of God's forgiveness rise up within you today. We decree that every painful memory is erased from your soul. May the burden of every offense and transgression that was committed against you be released off your shoulders. And we prophesy that you are liberated from the stronghold of unforgiveness that would interfere with your prayers. Come on, hear that right now. We say you are liberated from that. And we say anything that would rob your peace, you are liberated from that. And we say that you're able to set aside the misdeeds of others and move forward into your bright future. We speak this and we say you're able to freely say, I forgive them in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Now you just stay on that declaration. Don't let the devil pull you off of that because I believe there's a whole new realm of power, anointing. Come on, if there's anything we as the church need to be doing right now, it's forgiving other people because it's gonna release something fresh on this nation. Amen. We need this in America right now. And if there's anything we need in churches right now, it's the spirit of forgiveness. That's what God is looking for. That's what he wants you and me to do. And guess what? We're going to be of those who learn how to forgive and walk in love and do those things that Jesus taught. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed today. And just know this, we pray for you. Hank and I pray for you. We declare the blessing of God on you and our partners, partners, church family, friends. Thank you for supporting us. It is your giving, your support that is enabling us to take the prophetic word of the Lord, a prophetic word of hope all around the world, all across the airways. And believe me, there are people that are taking those things to heart and it's because of you we're able to go to them. So I just want you to know we love you very, very much. Keep standing strong in the things of the spirit. Keep standing strong on the prophetic word of the Lord as you keep standing. Know this, God is at work. God is working in this nation. Don't ever forget it. God is working. He is doing things behind the scenes and many of them are manifesting in amazing ways. So keep standing strong. And by the way, if you're believing God for something, keep standing. And if you have a prayer request, send it to us. Go to hankandbrenda.org and make sure you submit that prayer request so that our team of leaders, our intercessors, they can get in agreement with you and believe God. Come on. That way, you know you're not alone. It's the reason I always say we decree when we decree is because I want you to know you are never by yourself. Somebody is in agreement with you. Somebody is standing in your corner. Whether they know your name or not, there's agreement out there. And that is what we want to do right here. And so make sure you send those prayer requests. Let us know how can we pray for you. And when you submit it, when you send it, know that somebody is gonna be in agreement. And Hank and I, we are calling out you and we are saying, Lord, we ask for your anointing and your blessing. Every prayer answered, that's what we pray over you. We say every prayer answered in Jesus' name. Well, I'm just about out of time and I thank you for joining me. Remember, stay in forgiveness. Don't let offense come up in your heart. Just speak it out. Declare you forgive always and all people in the name of Jesus. Well, until next time, I love you very much. We're praying for you. Hank and I are so thankful for you.